Hey guys, this is the Canadian Baconer, and in this video, we are going to be talking about the brand new weapons, mechanics, and gadgets that we saw in this brand new Battlefield 1 trailer. Now I will say honestly, this was not much of a real trailer, it was sort of like a mix of gameplay and like a development documentary type deal, but based off of what we have, we can pull a lot of information and kind of uh, go off of that. So first off, we have the weapons. As you guys can see here, we have the Bergman MG15 light machine gun, and right next to it, it says suppressor. So this could mean one of two possibilities. One, it could be like an actual sound suppressor. I'm not sure if those were really around back in World War One, and I wouldn't really see a need for one to be around because of the fact that when you shoot in Battlefield One, you do not appear on the minimap, and that's only like if you get spotted. So I mean, I guess it's cool if it is a sound suppressor, but I guess the other option could be maybe it represents a certain variant, like it's meant for suppression, it's meant to suppress the targets, which I think makes a bit more sense, especially in this time period. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Maybe there were suppressors back in World War One. Let me know down below if I was wrong. And throughout this trailer, we do get a lot of other, uh, you know, little glimpses of other weapons as well, such as the Lewis Gun Low Weight, the Remington Automatic 5 Light Infantry Automatic Shotgun. I am loving this thing. I just love the way it looks. I honestly just really like the way this gun looks, and I cannot wait to use it on the battlefield. Now, this shotgun will only be available for the Assault class if you guys were wondering about that. Here we have the MP18 Trench Submachine Gun, and Trench would probably represent, like, close quarter combat, which makes a bit more sense. And then we do have the Cell Brigadi. Now, it does say factory or right next to the weapon, so I'm going to assume that it's maybe the default weapon, you know, right when you buy it, you know, day one stock, something like that. Moving on to the gadgets that have been spotted in this trailer. First up, we have mortars. Now, I was honestly expecting mortars to be in this game, so to finally see them in action is really cool, and it seems like they're going to be doing a lot of damage. We also have different animations depending on what melee weapon you have. I'm pretty sure everybody had access to, like, the axe or whatever in the closed alpha, but it looks like here, this person with the club has a completely new animation to take out the enemy from the side. And now, in this same shot, we do actually see that little crate in the background, and it looks like there's a weapon inside that crate. So, I'm going to assume that maybe we have actual battle pickups, which would be awesome to see in Battlefield 1. These are going to be some of the bigger weapons, like the flamethrower that we keep seeing in the trailers and stuff, and other things like that. Now just for a brief second, we actually do get a glimpse at what seems to be a horse. I could be completely wrong, but I'm like 99% sure that that's a horse actually riding in the background, you know, way in the background. It's only in there for like a split second, so if you try and watch the trailer back to find it yourself, you're going to have a very difficult time. I would recommend, you know, slowing it down like crazy, because it really is only in there for a split second. I'm super hyped to see all these things being released for Battlefield 1. I'm super, super pumped. I cannot wait till the game comes out. When the beta releases, everyone's going to be playing that, hopefully. I want to see you guys playing that as well. I can also guarantee that in the next couple of weeks, we will be getting progressive gameplay and, you know, news and information on brand new features and hopefully new maps and game modes for Battlefield 1. So if you guys are excited, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already for the latest and greatest in Battlefield 1 information and news. And go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The links are down below in the description. But as always, thank you guys for checking out this video, and this has been the Canadian Baconer. Stay crispy, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.